There goes you understand the rules you're fighting under. This is to me at all times, keep yourself protected. When I say stop, you stop. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Let's do it. for the technical difficulties again there. McCann, centre of the cage, slinging heavy leather at Bryony Terrell. Good catch of the kick. I think McCann staying nice and light on her feet here. She's getting in, she's getting out. She's not getting too dragged down in this. Long way to go in five fives. Terrell taking her time here, she seems calm in the face of what's an incredibly partisan crowd here. Left hand gets through from McCann. Yeah, I like the question mark kick over the top. Terrell's doing a good job of, of staying out of the way here, good circling. But you do feel like McCann is just getting that little bit closer every time. McCann throwing the left hand here. She's got heat on both those fists. Oh, oh and big left. Hands again. It's yep. a looping shot, though. It is. I mean, Terrell's got her guard up, but, you know, a shot like that sometimes just finds its way over the top. But you see, though, she's got Terrell fainting here. Every little twitch, every little turn of a shoulder, a flick of a, a flick of a wrist. She's got Terrell guessing and just changing her breathing pattern every single time. And again, with the straight left this time, McCann, she's catching the kicks and launching counters in short. Terrell has to close the distance to implement her own style, Josh, but there's going to come a point across five five-minute rounds that she gets caught coming in by one of these shots if she doesn't change her angle of attack or level of attack here, surely? Yeah, absolutely. It could just be a case of, uh, you know, once one of these fighters figures the other out, you know, it, it's a bad night for the other, and McCann is swinging big here, but immediately getting out. You know, I like that. She didn't stay inside to get hit. She, she landed what she thought were good shots and then circled out. And we've all heard the tales of McCann having to prove herself in the world of MMA, even to get through the door of MMA gyms, but one sparring session later, nobody's questioning the hands of Molly McCann. Yeah, catching the kick is, is good, but here we go. This is the first tie-up that these ladies have had in, in any kind of grappling exchange. It's a good body lock for Terrell here. Bringing some knees in. I mean, you know, double unders around. She's got a good wrist grab. It's a very, very strong clinch position for her. Question is, you know, how strong is McCann? And there we go, showing exactly that easy break to separate the distance. McCann never been submitted. Tough to submit someone when they're slinging heavy leather, as McCann is wont to do, and she's talking to Terrell in here. Yeah, she's starting to get in her head now. She's trying to play some mind games. Nice kick to the body from Terrell. Yeah, it was McCann all slightly marked up there on the right side, Josh. Yeah, it was a lot of quad and not a whole lot of uh, whipping the hip across, but, you know, they score, they do damage, they, they start winding your opponent. Terrell's still very much in this one. 
But it's an excellent first round for Molly McCann. Yeah, I've seen McCann put people flat on their backs with a single shot, so credit to the chin of Terrell here. She's taken a few so far, a nice knee from the killer bee at the centre, but McCann pumping that left hand in. The final 10 seconds of the first round here, Josh. Yeah, the knees were an excellent tactic for Terrell, and she's done a good job of weathering the storm, seeing out this first round. I'm sure that was the first goal, was if you can't put her away, get through that first five, start taking this one a bit deeper. Five minutes of fast and furious action here at Cage Warriors 90. A clear round from McCann, you'd have to think, Josh, as we look back at some of the action. Yeah, this was McCann getting inside, throwing big shots. You know, not all of them landing. I don't think she ever really caught Terrell particularly flush, but she's done enough with scuffing and grazing shots. There you go, that's a good jab. The power punch is not landing. Met that, that's a takedown attempt with a heavy shoulder. Really nice way of perceiving that level change from McCann. But Josh, if you're in the corner of Brony Terrell, what's the advice here? What does she need to do differently in round two? I think maybe change that front kick up. You're trying to keep the range, keep the distance, turn it into a teep or, you know, or a big rear leg front kick, uh, rear leg kick. Just try and uh, press McCann back a little bit, hit her in the midsection, try and tire out some more. Well, a very similar scenario as it was during Paddy Pimblett's fight that kicked off our main card. Every seat sold, none being used. The echo's on its feet. The cheering for McCann here. But Bryce Terrell with a big smile on her face, having fun in there. And someone who enjoys violence this much is definitely a force to be reckoned with, Josh. Yeah, I mean, we didn't really mention it in the, the walkouts, but, you know, Terrell is a, a nurse in the hematology department by, by day, and she often says, you know, most of her colleagues can't believe that she does this for fun on the weekends. But, you know, what a stage for her here, and she's staying in this one with some good kicks. They are just slightly less powerful shots than, than what McCann is putting together, though. Well, there aren't many women at flyweight who hit with the accuracy and power of McCann. Yeah, McCann's always thrown in really good volume as well. That's the other d defining factor is it's just, you know, it's not just intensity of shots, it's, it's the, s the simple amount. And here she goes, pretending like she's winding up her backhand. Surely must have been saying that the McCann count worked on catching that kick and then launching the big hook as a counter to it. That's it, you know, that to me is, oh! <laughs> McCann pouncing here, big hooks, Terrell covering up, trying to fight back. Yeah, McCann Terrell's trying to tie up. everything and it's over! <laughs> McCann looks like she can't believe it, but I think she knew it all along. Molly McCann! It's the new Cage Warriors Women's Flyweight Champion of the World! You know, she didn't back away when she got the chance on that flurry. She really went after her. She did the damage. And what Mark Goddard will have seen is, although we saw Terrell reaching out to try and grab the head, he will have seen Bryony Terrell turn her eyes away and look away from the incoming shots. And that is absolutely why he has done the right thing and stepped in there before that could have got a lot worse. I think when it's got to the stage of the fighters turning away from punches, you've got to invoke the intelligent defense clause, and that's something Mark Goddard puts a good use perfectly there. Let's see how it all started. It was a left, and then a flurry of shots from McCann. You did start to get the sense it was just a matter of time, and there you go, Goddard thinks about stopping it, and then as soon as Terrell turns away and is no longer anticipating those incoming shots, she's putting herself in danger and forcing the stoppage. What a performance from Molly McCann. She's done it. She's the new Cage Warriors Women's Flyweight Champion, just as she said she would be. A dream that started all those years ago when she won an amateur fight here on Cage Warriors. Now she's the queen of the mountain. And tonight, she's the queen of Liverpool. McCann celebrating with the crowd here in Liverpool. A 
I'm not, I'm not 100% sure who that is with Molly. Likely a, a family member, I believe. And you can see how much this means to this young lady from Liverpool. I spoke to her at the weigh-ins yesterday. She was wearing her late father's wedding ring, which her mum had given to her. She wanted to do this for him. She wanted to do this for her family, her friends and her fans. And boy, is she going to have some more of those in the morning, Josh. Well, the party started when Paddy Pimlet submitted Alexis Savidis, and it's not going to stop till the early hours of Sunday morning. What a moment, what a night here at Cage Warriors 80. We're going to throw this one to our MC, Andy Friedlander, and he'll make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Goddard has called a stop to this contest at one minute and 32 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by TKO. And new Cage Warriors Flyweight Champion I'm here with the first ever Cage Warriors Women's Flyweight World Champion. How does that sound? It sounds like chocolate on a weight cut. Give us your thoughts on the fight, Molly. It looked like feeling out that first round and then in the second when you went for it, you really went for it. What I'd just like to say is everyone knows I've got aggression and will to win. That isn't how you beat Bryony Tyrell. She's smart, she's got good grappling and good game work and ground and pound. Me and my team have spent the last six months developing me, not rushing, not overcommitting, taking me time. And I am not going to be holding this belt if it weren't for everyone in this cage. I swear to God, everyone who's here supporting me, this is a female, <laughs> nearly swore, female, female headline in an arena. You tell me who does that? Not many people. There was some talk in the run-up up to the fight. She came and asked for this fight. She asked to get in here with you. Be careful what you wish for, Cookie. So that answers that question. What's next for you? Because this is a huge belt. It's a huge honor to hold. And you're up for defending it? I'm up for going out with everyone to the BKLA. I want everyone to come and get a picture with me in this belt. September 1st, we come back. April, Paddy goes and robs the belt off some Viking. Then we both come back and defend in September. How about that? Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause. Oh. Look, Damn. it takes a dancing partner to, to do this, so please, a scouse round of applause for Bryony Tyrell. That's not Scouse, come on! Scouses rule the world. Eh? Scouses rule the world! We rule the world! Ladies and gentlemen, your world champion, Meatball, Molly McCann! Friday. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> 